Alright, this is the latest project I've been working on, and uh, it's just really to test the uh, things I've made um, and learn about this sharp distance uh, sensor. Now what I have here is an Arduino, and I've got a liquidware backpack battery pack, and I'm going to take this off. Well, here, first let me show you this part. Now I have a little connector to attach this sharp uh, 2Y0A21 uh, distance sensor, and what it does is it it, it put in five volts, and then uh, a voltage is is put out on the white wire, and supposedly it will tell you the distance uh, between 10 and 80 centimeters. Of course, it's only a vi uh, voltage. I don't think it's proportional. I'm not sh quite sure. Now, what I've made here is a shield. Now, this is a liquid crystal liquid crystal display that I got from a AT&T phone, and it was junk, so I took it apart, and I found that it is a HD44780 uh, compatible display. So I was able to find a data sheet online. It's an M1641 display unit, which uh, which is pretty cool. And I, you know, did some soldering to this board to make a shield. Now what I did is I just uh, I used foam safe gel super glue, which I got at the hobby shop and I glued the headers to it, which I cut and trimmed to the right size, and I made my own shield. Now I did have to uh, drill out the row here to position it correctly to fit on the Arduino, since the spacing between these two headers is not the standard pitch. Now this is a resistor to control the brightness of the display, and I have this hooked up, and it's a female header, and I have it wired to one of the analog inputs, input number uh, three. I've left four and five open because I wanted to save those for for uh, possible use with the I2C uh, sensors or something like that. Now, the pins I chose, I have written it back here, so I'll remember, uh, using the liquid crystal display, it's pin 14, 15, 16, 9, 6, 7, and 8. Now, the reason I used those was so that I could leave pins free for the GPS uh, shield that I bought from Adafruit.com and also for the Wave Sound shield off of the, uh, the same site. And that's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and uh, line it up. So I've got the shield. Now I'm going to plug the sensor in. I might put little color coding to make it easier to remember. Okay, it's set like that. And what I'm going to do is turn on the battery. Now, now what it does is it doesn't actually measure distance. It's, it's really more measuring closeness. So as I get closer to the camera, you can see the number gets larger. Now, there seems to be a minimum distance that it can hit. Otherwise, it you know, Otherwise, it starts to, uh, the numbers get paradoxically lower as you get closer. But it seems to work okay. Now, if I aim it into air, I get zero. And um, as I get closer, the numbers go up. So that is the setup. Now, the other thing I could do is uh, I could alter my Arduino program, and I could put a hall sensor in here, which I'm going to do. I'm going to have an extension cord, and then I'm going to change the prompt and try to get you know, the correct... Uh, output units, but I'm going to put a hall sensor on, and I plan on putting on my bike just to see if I could have a reasonable working uh, odometer and velocity uh, mile per hour reading, and that's it.